Hello everyone, my name is Brandy. I am a Norwex consultant and team co coordinator. Um, thank you for letting me share Norwex with you tonight. Uh, thank you to all of you for joining the group, the workshop, and thank you to um, our hostess for getting us all together. If it weren't for her, then we wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be able to share all this great information with you. Um, Norwex, if you've never heard of it, uh, their mission is to get as many chemicals out of the home as possible. There are so many things that we are bringing into our home that we we just we have no idea that it are they're actually hurting us. I've done a lot of research. Um, there's a lot of cancer in my family. My husband just had cancer uh, two years ago. He's cancer free. Yay! So. Um, during that time, I, I really did a lot of research, and I've been with Norwex since 2004. I did go dormant for a really, really long time, um, packed up my, my beautiful kit, and just left it all in there. And then whenever the pandemic hit, and, um, and then especially when Nathan got cancer, I pulled it back out and started really using it again. And every night I was on my, um, my tablet and uh, laptop, phone, whatever, um, just reading, 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 doing all kinds of research. And it's just, it's crazy what we're bringing in that you have no idea. I mean, even dish soap, it's terrible. Laundry soap, all of it. Um, anyway, so first I wanna talk about the types of cleaning. You can do a thermal type, which um, is like the steam mop. So you bring it up to a certain temperature, it kills the bacteria, there you go. Um, then there is chemical cleaning, and that is actually using a spray or a chemical to put on a surface and then wiping it off and cleaning that way. Um, the way Norwex does it is mechanical. That is actually taking a cloth, you know, lifting it off and um, like physically removing the germs and bacteria from the surface. And they only use water, just water with these cloths, okay? I know it's, um, it, you, it, how can you use cloth and water, but I'll tell you how. So um, first we'll talk about the Enviro cloth, and this is how Norwex started. So you have, so to be, first of all, to be microfiber, you have to be um, one sixth of a human hair. Well, Norwex goes even further and they are one two hundredth of a human hair. Can you imagine that? Every one of these little bitty fibers are one two hundredth of a human hair. That's insane. Um, so this, if you were to unravel it, it would stretch from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico, 10 million miles per cloth. Can you believe that? That's why it's so dense. So it forms these little grabbers. It's really hard to see, but it forms these tiny little grabbers and it just grabs onto those, um, all of those particles, you know, bigger, small, I mean, not huge, you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's small, like you, where you can't even see it. And it holds onto them. It does not cross contaminate. And then the next thing is they, during the weaving process, they infuse liquid silver into the cloths. Um, and what that does is it makes it antimicrobial. Uh, silver is naturally antimicrobial, so adding liquid silver to the cloth makes the cloth clean up to 99% of bacteria, and then it also makes it self-purify. So that makes, you don't have to wash it as much, let's put it that way. Um, what you do is you use, you wet it and then use, you use it while you're cleaning that day, and then whenever you're done, um, you rinse and scrub really good under warm water, then you wring it out, and then I always hang it by the tag. Um, it's just easier. I bought this huge pack of command hooks, so I put, put them up pretty much everywhere. Um, in sp spots, you can't really see them, but, um, and I have my cloths hanging, and I have a different color for every room, so you can. These are um, so, um, so good that you can actually go from the toilet cleaning the toilet to, to rinsing it off and then going and cleaning your child's high chair. I know that's crazy. Nobody will actually do it. That's why we have different colors, but you can do that. That's how clean it is. Um, and actually our toilet, I've learned, is cleaner than our kitchen sink or and our cell phones. Our cell phone is actually the dirtiest thing on the planet. So um, that's the Enviro cloth. Now, um, it, it has a best friend. And its best friend is the window cloth. 
This one you actually use dry. I have heard of some people using it wet, um, but what you do is you go uh, first go in and clean with the Enviro cloth. You know, if you're to, we're talking about a mirror, which I'm going to show you here in a second, I'll demo that. And then you go back in and you wipe it down, polish it dry with the with the um, window cloth. Now I love um, these because I I put a command hook in my bathroom where you you seriously can't see it and. Um, after every shower, I take that, that sucker down and I wipe my mirror off. So my mirror is always clean. It was never like that before. It had toothpaste all over it, just spit, everything. So I, it's not like that anymore. After every shower, it's, it's, already, it's already wet, damp. So just wipe it down with your, your uh, window cloth and hang it back up. I wash this thing maybe once a month, maybe. So um, let me do a little demonstration here. Um, we call these two Burt and Ernie BFFs, uh, peanut butter and jelly, but I have my, my grandma's little mirror here that I keep all my perfumes and stuff on. Um, I'm just going to wipe it with my damp Enviro cloth. I know it's hard to see. Normally I do this standing up, but I thought today I would try doing it sitting down. I don't know why it's a little easier doing it standing up, um, but I didn't have my, my ring light, so it's at work. So I'm wiping all this off. I am using um, a petroleum jelly. So can imagine how hard that is to get off. So there you go, that's off. So it's off. Now I'm just gonna take my window cloth. They come in all different colors. They're more towards the front um, of the catalog if you're looking at an actual catalog. Um, or they're under microfiber in the virtual one. So these two are our basic package. So if you want to start somewhere, this is a good place to start if you're new. Um, I'm actually, the whole thing, everything that I am demonstrating is in the Safe Haven 5 Plus set. So that is actually, it's perfect. Now see how clean, how clean it is. Don't look at my mess in the background, okay? So there's that. So now I, um, it really needed it too. So I'm glad I'm doing that demo. I'm glad I chose that one. I usually use a, a mirror from work. I own a salon, so I always have a handheld mirror, but I took it, I don't know why, but I took it back to work. All right, so that is the best friends, the window cloth and the Enviro cloth. Um, if anybody has any questions, you can just do it in the comments. Um, I'll answer them when I can uh, as I go. Now we're gonna talk about the dusting mitt. This is my favorite dust mitt. This one, usually they have a thumb. This one doesn't have a thumb, but I love that, uh, I love this one because one side is made with the material like the Enviro cloth. I'm sorry, the window cloth on this side. And then this side is the same material as a dusting mitt. So you can, you can also use this while you're going around dusting. You can also um, clean like your mirrors and stuff while you're, while you're doing that. So I just thought this one was cute. And I actually didn't know that one side wasn't uh, for dusting. But uh, whenever I got it, I thought, well, this is, this is really cool. So anyway, it doesn't have a thumb. Normally they have that thumb uh, sticking out and these are great. I just got off vacation. And I took one with me. They're perfect to get sand off of your legs when you're um, laying there tanning or, you know, getting ready to get off the beach to go inside and you don't want to get sand all over your car. These babies are fantastic. Not only can you put all of your, you know, like a um, sunblock and all that stuff inside of here, but it just, it gets it right off. So that's a, that's a neat little tip, but I, um, I'll demonstrate this for you. What I did is I just took this platter and I just, this is what I normally do. Um, and what you want to do, if you have two of these, some, some people, they get two so they can really, you know, get dusting and they use both hands and anyway, uh, so you can rub them together and it will, it'll charge them up. But what I do is I just rub it on my jeans. So in this case, the jean shorts, rub it and it, um, charges it up and then it kind of, uh, it attracts the dirt to it. So, oh, you can't see this. So I'm just kind of going up, going around like in an eight motion. 
and dusting it off. Nice. Use a little too much. I always do. See, it sticks to it. And this is, it's all gone. Oh, there's a little spot. Mostly all gone. Okay. And then what you do is you go to the trash can. You've got your handy little rubber brush. Um, you will, this rubber brush is fantastic. You'll need it if you have the, the mop system, the, the dust mitt, um, the, uh, the Enviro wand. <laughs> That's what it's called, sorry. So you just brush it off and then it's ready to go again. Just keep dusting. And this, since it's just, um, which, since it's just dust, you don't, you don't have to wash it as much as you do like the Enviro cloth. Just use your judgment on that. Like my Enviro cloths I wash maybe, um, once every couple of weeks. It's, but it's just me and my husband. So if you have kids and you're, you're using food a lot, you might want to wash it once a week, but, uh, just rinsing them really good, rubbing it together, um, under really warm water, as warm as you can with your hands, and then wringing it really good to dry and then hanging it and waiting a whole 24 hours so it has that time to self-purify, you really don't have to wash it that often. And that, that's what's so amazing about these. Like, you're not constantly washing them. You're using them. I wash stuff. Um, there's some, some stuff I wash every couple weeks, and then there's some stuff that I wash every couple months. So literally just one load... It, two weeks later, another load. So it's just like once every two weeks. It's really nothing at all. And I do wash mine alone. You you can throw them in with stuff, but you have to use our detergent. Um, I've been telling people in the past that you can use all free and clear, but I just found out that all free and clear uh, is one of the detergents that New York, New York just, New York State just banned, sorry. Um, uh, and it's it's like one of the dirty dozen they're calling it. I don't know. I, I that's what I'm ta researching about right now, uh, reading about, and it's uh, it's just insane. I really thought that if it says all free and clear, that it had none of those you know none of those harsh chemicals in it, and apparently it does. So, um, I would really I suggest using our detergent. So, all right, that's the dust mitt. And I've already told you about taking it to the beach. Okay, now we're going to talk about our laundry detergent, our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent first. It's this bag right here. It comes, it is a one kilogram. It says 100 loads, um, 66 standard loads, but I only use a teaspoon, and we found, we've, uh, consultants just found that they, we started with a certain amount and then just kept going lower and lower. I know some people that only use half of a teaspoon. So I took my scoop that is in here. Let's see if it's this. Yep. And I marked it. Can you see my little mark? I need to remark it. But I marked it on both sides because my husband was always wondering uh, what. Actually, I'll do it while we're. Where, you know, how much to use. So I marked it for him. This is a teaspoon. There you go. So that's that's it. That's all you put in there. So that will give you 215 loads, this little bag, seriously. Um, and then the liquid, hold on, I'm going to read something first. Okay, it ha it is biodegradable surfactants, no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine or bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, no dyes or fragrances. It, um... And I am going to post, there is this, um, I found this tran transparency, ingredient transparency list for Norwex. So it shows what they will not use, what they do use, and um, the, the chemical that I was actually researching that's in the detergents, that was in the free and clear detergents that I really thought was a good one, is on that list they will not use it so it's not in here um it's only the good stuff in here that's why there's no fillers otherwise it'd be you know big old bag so um you only need a little bitty bit and then the liquid it has enzymes 
This one is lavender scented. This is the only one that you can get. Well, you can get, actually, never mind. These two have a scent, and I didn't know that. Fresh Blossom, it's a very, very light scent. These are the new strips. I don't know if you've ever seen the strips. So this is one pump, 269 loads, this bottle. And then these strips, what they do is they come in this size and it's perforated. So you're supposed to tear it in half and only use one. This is really great. This is actually pressed laundry detergent. It's amazing. I, I've used another brand before, before uh, I knew about this one. Didn't, didn't even, didn't work as good as all, but, uh, or as well as this one at all. That's what I was trying to say. So I use about this much per load. So about a fourth of what they come with. And I just took these on vacation. Perfect. Like you could just throw them in your, um, your suitcase and not have to worry about anything spilling or any powder coming out everywhere, anything like that. So these are absolutely great for vacation. Um, and I think we go on a lot of trips, whether it's vacation or I'm going on a, um, going to a convention or something like that, a conference. Um, so these are, that's what I'll save these for. So they're great. So those are our laundry detergents. They're fantastic. Um, one little tip, in 26 seconds, that's all it takes, 26 seconds for whatever you touch to be absorbed into your bloodstream, not your body, your bloodstream. That means in 26 seconds, after I touch this, whatever chem um, whatever chemicals, whatever's on it is already in my bloodstream in 26 seconds. I think it's been 26 seconds. So um, you have to be really careful on what you use and what you put on your floors, on your, on your surfaces, on, on your shirt. So, you know, your clothes, 26 seconds, it's already, already in your bloodstream. And then the largest pores on our body are on the bottom of our feet. So our floors, what we clean our floors with is very important. And I will demo our um, mop after, after this. So uh, it's our most coveted item. Yeah, so I like them all. Uh, this one is really great if you have kids and you want to do, you want to get out the stains uh, because it has enzymes in it like all of our other cleaners. So they do suggest you try the liquid if you have children. Um, I just, the UPP is just what I keep going back to because it has so many uses. Uh, you can, you can do some research and it, I mean, there are, I've seen lists of a hundred different uses. I mean, you can make paste out of it. You can make, um, cleaning sprays out of it. You can, there's just all kinds of, all kinds of things that you can do with it. You can clean your jewelry with it. Um, just so much. It's just too much to even think of right now. So that is our laundry detergent. Let me get all this out of the way. Hold it. Ooh, good catch, Randy. Okay. Now let's talk about our cleaning paste. Our cleaning paste, uh, we call it our elbow grease in a jar. It's just when you need that extra little something for some st stubborn jobs. In one jar, it has hundreds of uses to tackle tough grime. It comes as a solid, just moisten with a dampened bio cloth to form a paste. Yes, I've had a lot of people call me after they receive their cleaning paste, and they say, oh, my, you know, my paste is straight up. No, it comes as a solid, then after you, you rub your, your uh, dampen, say, um, your Enviro cloth. Also, the um, Spiri sponges work amazing with this on flat top stoves. Um, but it comes this way. And I've actually had this jar since probably 2003. But um, that's all I've used out of it. It will last forever. And it is, it is absolutely amazing. It um, gets Sharpie off of walls off of i've seen it off of clothes i'm sure it depends on what what kind of clothes but here i don't know i'm closing this i have to use it um but i would try it like in a little small inconspicuous area before you really go to you know use it somewhere like 
like say I had a stain on my shirt, a pin mark or whatever, I use it, you know, where you can't see it first. Or if you're wanting to clean your stove top, try it and on the, on the corner where you really, you know, you're not going to notice it before you ruin your whole stove because it, it might not, there is a possibility that it doesn't work with that certain one. So try that first. So what, here we go. So this is just an old um, whiteboard that you would use the erasable marker. But instead of erasable marker, I am going to use a Sharpie. Okay. I'm going to write, oh, $450. I wrote $450. It's, probably, it's backwards for you, isn't it? Um, because that is about how much... Each one of my hostesses get in free product every time they host a party. $450 in product for free. So I am going to use the damp and viral cloth and I'm going to wipe it in the cleaning paste. Don't be afraid to get in there because like I said, it lasts forever. You can't use too much of this. Okay, so I got it on there. I got my cleaning paste on there. You see it? You see? <laughs> that was Sharpie. That would never have come off with anything else. It's amazing. I think that's absolutely insane. I, like I said, I have a salon. I've tried this. Um, I hope you guys can see me well. I keep feel like I want to get over here. It's dark. But um, I've had color stains on my walls and my floors, and I've used this, and it's taken them off. There's one that's stubborn. But I think it might have been there before I leased it because it was a salon before I went there. So I think it's a really, really old one and it had to have been a really, really dark color because it's being stubborn. It's lightened a lot and I keep working on it. I'll, I will get it up. But anyway, there's that. So that did an amazing job. Okay, so there's one more. Um, demonstration I want you I want to do I want to show you just how well let's move all this out of the way how well our actual our envirocloths actually work um, and that they do actually work so what I have here this is our wonderful we have great cutting boards they have the rubber on the bottoms where they don't move they're made from um, recycled materials they're they're just fantastic I love them um and what I have is glow germ. Have, has anybody heard of glow germ? This is a uh, simulated germs. It's powder based. And so just pretend like this is just, you know, just germs. So I'm just going to sprinkle. You have this problem when you're standing too, so it don't really matter. Just sprinkle a little bit on here and then I'm going to turn off the light because you have to be able to see this in the dark. Oh. Okay. I don't break my neck. Okay, now I have a black light here. Sorry about that. Shine it right on you. And then you could see that it glows, okay? Actually, I think I'm going to go shut this curtain too. These demonstrations really are great in person because it really, I mean, it really blows your mind about how great it works. So I think I got a ton on there. I didn't have to do that, but I tend to use too much. Okay, so now I'm going, I'm wiping it off. And viral cloth. No tricks here. This has a divot in it all, all around, which helps keep the juices when you're like cutting meat and stuff. But whenever you're doing this demonstration, you gotta really make sure you get in there. Okay, look, it's completely gone. Okay, 
and then I want to show you my Enviro cloth. It's on there. Now what I'm going to do is show you that it doesn't cross contaminate. So I'm going to get something else like this that we used before and wipe on there. It's not on there. There's nothing. So our cloths don't cross contaminate. So that's what I meant by you can take it from the toilet and then wipe off your baby's high chair lid um, because you really can. Uh, I don't suggest doing it. <laughs> uh, me as a person, I would not do that. But um, these are made to where you can do that. You know, just give it a you know. Give it a rinse um, or just get a different color for every room. We have a set of six, so um, you can't go wrong with that. Now I wanted to do, um, I wanted to show you the same demonstration with, uh, with the wipes. I don't know what brand they are, I forget, but hold on one second. Sorry about that, wasn't quite prepared. If I could get it out, I'm almost out of these. I hate buying them, but I have to for these demonstrations. I had a ton, actually, I still might have some. But I wanna show you the Glow Germ with the wipe, which I wanted to do this before. Okay, there's the Glow Germ, I wanna show you. Same thing, and then wipe the wipe. So people use these wipes every day and they think that they clean, but they don't, they just spread. You're not cleaning anything. Read the directions. It says that you have to keep wiping and keep wet for four minutes in order to disinfect, sanitize, all that. So um, that means you have to stand there for four minutes and keep that surface wet. Please read those directions. Um, they don't work. So just say, you know, you're a teacher and those, all the kids are out um, at recess and you're cleaning. You can't really see it here. Yeah, see, it's, it's there. It's just hard to see on the TV. It's in all the little divots. Can you see? There you go. You can see it better. See, it's in all the little divots. Anyway, I wanted to go back and take the same cloth that has all of that all over it and wipe it. I really wish this was in person. I love doing in-person parties. They're they're a lot of fun. These are a little harder. It's hard to keep people's attention. Um, we are working on a way to do these in one day, um, but it's just it's just so hard. So now you it's gone. It's completely gone. Yeah. Completely gone. I really, really wish you could see it a little bit better in the camera, but, um, and then this thing, it's just, these, they don't work. Just, it's awful. And, uh, what you're doing is like, you're taking little, say little Bobby's germs from his desk and you're wiping it clean. And then you're going to Lily's desk and you're taking those germs and, and just spreading it and then going on and on and on. And you're just spreading them. And, and they're on everybody's school supply lists. And uh, when, in fact, the EnviroCloth should be on the school supply list. But I don't want to add any, any more money to all of you guys' supply lists. But seriously, they work so much better. Um, your kids won't be sick as much, I promise you. Um, if they are washing and then they're drying their hands on the cloth that I have behind me. Do you see it? 
the Chanel hand towel that cap that gets everything after you wash your hands. It grabs the rest that you missed. Okay, so since I'm standing up, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the mop. Um, I call them options. Um, this is the small, the small mop. Here is the, here's the, the attachment. This comes off. It also locks into place. So if you want it just to go like this, or if you unlock it, it goes all the way around. Um, people use it to clean their walls. You can actually take this off, put the Enviro wand on it, on the telescopic handle, because this unscrews. And it gets really tall. Like I'm 5'2, my husband is 6'4. Um, so we can both mop. And actually, when my granddaughters come over, you know she's eight. So she has she has to have it all the way down, and it's so cute. But she loves to use this because it's just it's fun. So first there is the chenille, the chenille uh, pad. So it has Velcro on one side and this on the other. So this is just like your basic, what you would use in between sweeping and, and mopping. It's really cute. Um, and I mean, it works. <laughs> All that flour that I use too much of, I'm getting right now. So I wish I could face my thing down, but I'll show you on top of the pad when we're done here. Let's see if there's something. Actually, let me turn this back on. Sorry, I do all these without a script. I just I like to be myself. They train you to be the, to be yourself, so even if I'm a little Spazzy, and I'm making, hopefully I'm making you laugh anyway. Just don't laugh at me, laugh with me. Anyway, so that's the, you, you get the gist of it. So this is basically dusting your floor in between. And that's what I meant by fun. That's the part that makes it fun. And then here is the dry mop pad or the dry sweep pad, whatever. So this one, you would do the same thing. Put it on, use the eight motion. You know, you wanna go like in the eight to keep it on. Excuse me, I have severe allergies. Okay. So you do that. And then this is whenever you would need your, uh, your rubber brush. So you take it to the trash can or outside, whatever, and just, Get all that off and then go to your next area, your next room, whichever you want to do. And then the wet one looks just like this. So remember, it's dry, dry is yellow, wet is blue. Water, blue. So you can either, you wet this, which is what I do. I do wet this. And I also bought the mop attachment. You fill this with water and then you just pump. Water squirts out. You can use it that way. I do both. Um, or you can also use a water bottle, and that's what we did before we had the attachment. We would wet this and use the water bottle. But now your water bottle is attached. So, and then there is also one more attachment, and I did want to put that on for you because it's one of my favorites. I love it. It is the broom. It looks just like and feels just like our rubber little rubber brush when it first comes it is a little stiff you do have to um, use it for a little while to loosen up all those bristles but it is fantastic and I use it in a salon so if it can sweep up little pieces of hair it would be good anywhere and then one side has a squeegee so you can use it like um, when you're out cleaning your windows. We have a window pad for this. So you would use um, the window pad to clean all of your windows and you'd go back, put this attachment on and use the squeegee part of it. But I mean, it's just great. It gets everything. 
And at first, when I first got it, like I said, it was really, really stiff. I was a little worried. But it, after a couple of weeks, it just, and you can use this on carpet too, which is it's just great. So yeah, it just got all, all of that. I mean, and I just did all, the, all of this stuff. I wish I could show you more, but I just um, used all, well, the, the chenille pad. But this literally gets the tiniest itty bit, you know, little bitty bits that you don't see. So it's the best room I've ever used and it's not brushing it everywhere. It's not getting up in the air. Just like our decimate, whenever you're dusting with that, instead of a regular duster, it's not getting back up in the air. You're not breathing it in. So that is our mop. There's three ways that you can get it. You can buy it. It's worth every penny. You can um, have a party and get it at a, a, a great discount, or you can join my team and get it for free, earn it for free, sorry. Um, okay, there's a couple more things. These, This comes in this Safe Haven 5 Plus set as well. This is just, this is one of my very favorite things. This is the face and body cloth. I know it looks a lot like the Enviro cloth. It's a little bit smaller and it's extremely plush and soft like our towels. Our towels are amazing too. I, I wish I could sit here and tell you about everything, but we're already at 35 minutes. So um, it's it's got the back lock in it. You do not use, I have not used any face cleanser. Oh, for me, it's about five or six months. My upline, uh, the girl I signed up under, she hasn't used, she uses this on her whole body and most of them do. Most of them in the group do. She hasn't used soap in six and a half years and it just, that still gets to me, but I'll get there. But no, I haven't used a cleanser on my face for about six months and not only am I saving so much money, but it has really cleared up my skin. My daughter was having, um, she's 25 and she's had problems with acne. Uh, since she was about 12 years old and we just can't you know especially back then we just couldn't figure out how to fix it if we would have just had one of these and uh, I did <laughs> it was in the bag I just I didn't know now I know but they are amazing that, to clear up acne and uh, so if you have if you know somebody that has really oily skin please get them the face and body pack they will thank you um, love it can't say enough good things about it this is the makeup cloth remover. So um, you can go in and remove your makeup first, like your, especially your eye makeup and everything, and then go back in and clean your skin with the face and body cloth. Um, I use them both. Uh, I like them both. I really like this one. If you are um, like 50 and up or you have more delicate skin, you might want to go with these. They're softer. They're very velvety. Um, so they're more gentle on the skin. I, I really get in there and I, I still clean, which I probably should be a little more gentle. But this is for face only. This is for face and body. Um, I, I do use them both only for my face. So far, I'm getting there. <laughs> I mean, I use it around here in my decollete, but that, that's it. And then this weird thing looks like the inside of a bathing suit but this is our dishcloth you know how um if you've seen norwax advertisements you you've seen where it says we have the cloths that never stink well it's be, this is the one that does it it whenever you wad it up and you put a little just a tiny bit of dish soap on it it suds up like crazy it's just something about this material this um the way it's made it really cleans and it scrubs so good you know, like dried on foods, but it also, take it out to your car. It gets dried bugs off of your car, tar, I mean, so much. So this thing is wonderful. So if you um, win one of these uh, during this party, uh, that's what this is. This is the dishcloth. So that is my demonstration. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, like I said, just ask. You can message me. You can... Um, just put it on the feed under. I'm going to start uploading this now. I don't know exactly what time it'll get on uh, into the party as uh, it takes a while because it's 30 something minutes. So 
Um, and then as soon as I see it on there, I will post a shopping link. So um, it's time to shop, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a great day.